So you have finished your long day of inspections. You've knocked it out. You have driven all over the place and done a lot of scopes. And you're going to come home tonight to the hotel, heat up a TV dinner probably, and try to knock out several estimates tonight to be able to submit. Now, the problem is when you open up your first estimate, you realize you forgot to measure this fence. And there was lots of damage on it, and you're going to have to at least paint it. So you're in trouble. Now you're going to have to drive all the way back out there and get a measurement on the fence, or maybe ask the insured to, which is not real professional or fast. So what we've done here is what we use is we use Google Measure Tool. And, you know, everybody has Google Maps. It's, you know, obviously free. It's free to use Google Maps. And Google Measure is something that hardly anybody knows about, honestly. So let me go ahead and show you what we do if you need to measure a fence or a handful of other things. All you do when you're in Google Maps, just enter the address of the property that you need to go look at or need to get the measurements from. Right click and use Measure Distance. And now you just click corners, okay? Every corner, you're going to click. And it's using the satellite and pictometry to measure. So 186 square feet, it's going to, or linear feet rather. And then, you know, if it's a six foot ceiling or a six foot fence rather, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to take the 187 times six. That's 1,122 square feet that you'd need to paint or stain. Looks like it's a shared fence, so you'd only do one side. And that is an extremely fast and easy way and accurate way to measure a fence. Um, you know, you can also do several other things. Let me go ahead and show you what other or how, how else we use this. I'm going to X out of this, and I'm going to right click on the corner of the house to the corner. 52 feet, that's my gutter run. 50 feet, right? So. You can get all your gutters that way. What if you need the ridge? It's about uh, 13, 14 feet, something like that. You're going to get real close, okay? What if you failed to measure the distance from this front little eave right here to the pullout of the garage? Well, pretty simple. You can just go right here, measure distance. That's a 15, roughly 15 foot pullout. So if you need to use that information to finish your sketch and Xactimate, that's that one measurement that you needed, and you're going to be absolutely close enough, okay, to get this thing done and move it forward. We are in catastrophe mode. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. It has to be very, very close, and this is completely acceptable in almost every scenario, okay? So you can also, let me see if I can show you a couple more things. So imagine this right here let's say let's imagine this was an in-ground pool now clearly it's not but imagine it was and imagine it had one of those real heavy-duty pool covers that they like to advertise elephants standing on I'm sure you guys know that um, so we need to determine how big that cover is in order to replace it so what you could do is you could just use the measure tool okay so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm going to go with a width of about like that. So I've got 26 and a half. I'm going to say 27 feet. I'm going to clear that. And then I'm going to grab the other direction. 24 feet, roughly. You know, something like that, right? You get the idea. 27 by 22. Let's go ahead and pull up our calculator. 27 times 22. 594 square feet and that would be your measurement for removal and replacement of that pool cover so you can use it for that uh, you know and another way I've actually measured many 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 houses um, completely virtually without ever going to them never being on site to see them uh, I've done several things uh, and in the course you'll see the image underlay option to where I can just snapshot this right here on my screenshot put it into Xactimate and literally just drag my roof right on top of it and it'll it'll draw or sketch the roof which is a great way to do it or you can simply just do one of these things right here you can actually grab the little street view guy okay look straight at the house now this one's gonna be a little more challenging because that trees in the way Let's see if we can get a view to where we can see that pitch well, we're looking for this rake right here, that one right there, but we got to stand right in front of the house 
and not be blocked by that tree. A little tricky there. All right, it's going to be very tricky to do because that tree is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next house over and just show you what I would do. Okay? There we go. So you're looking for a shot like this, straight on in front of the house, so you can get a nice straight view, not at an angle, of this particular rake right there. So now you're going to go to your Google Play or your Apple iTunes Store and download a free app called Pitch Gauge. And then you'll actually hold your phone in front of your computer screen and match up the line on your phone with this particular rake right there. And it'll show you what the pitch of the roof is, okay? So just with the pitch gauge that's free on your phone, you're going to get the pitch. And then you're just going to run up here and go into aerial mode again, okay? And you're going to get your measurements. And then you're going to take those measurements, run over to Xactimate, and just draw your roof. It's very, very simple. You can do it 100% without ever being at this house. And I have done this many times, and it's, it's strikingly accurate, okay? So if you're in a cat mode, and you just need to get something really, really close and submit your file, this is completely acceptable in almost every case. Um, very, very few times... Are you ever going to have any pushback on this? Because what you're doing is you're actually getting measurements and going into Xactimate and drawing it there. So, you know, they, they're just, they're thinking that you actually measured it on site. You know, so if you just need one or two measurements, very, very great tool. If you need the fence measurement, great. If you need the ridge length or gutters, great. If you need to measure an entire roof, I would suggest, highly suggest, Choosing very, very simple roofs to start with until you get a lot better with it. And then maybe at some point, if you're at a point to where you have ability to view your sketch versus an eagle view on the same house and see how close you get it uh, and see how accurate you're getting, then you could start doing a little bit more complex houses, complete virtual sketches. But, you know, if worse comes to worse, you can do the entire house. But generally, this is just a great way to get one or two different measurements or the fence or things of that nature. But definitely use this tool because this can save you a lot of time, effort, and money from driving all around just to get one or two measurements.